a shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka Kudash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in truth and sincerity, risking their lives in these last days. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yashar Allah from the GMS Italia camp. And I just wanted to do a sort of quick response to this lesson that was put out by the elder Apostle Gabba, which is titled, He carried his cross to prove his integrity. Let us do the same. I'd advise everyone to go watch this lesson to get edified because it is a very powerful lesson. So there was something that the elder Apostle said that actually intrigued me to, you know, to make this lesson. So let's, let me play a little of the, of the lesson and we'll get to the point. King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians, and Hittites, of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, you shall not go into them. Now, was that the sin that Solomon committed in uh, having sex with these strange women? No. The sin that he did commit it was bowing down to their gods. That was the sin. Because we are allowed, as the nation of Israel, we are allowed to have concubines. That is, women of the other nations. Sex toys, if you will. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, You shall not go into them. You shall not go into to them. Neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they, and this is what happened to King Solomon, for surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. Solomon clave unto these in love. So he fell in love with those women, which led his mind to go astray. And he had 700 wives, princes, and 300 concubines. See, concubines. And his wives turned away his heart. So that was the great iniquity that he committed. For it can, and, and by the way, you might say, well, that's a trivial thing. That's not a trivial thing. Go back to the Ten Commandments. The, the very first commandment is what? Thou shall have no other gods before me. Thou shall have no other gods before me. That's idolatry, man. That's a grave sin in the sight of the Lord Yahweh or in the sight of the Heavenly Father Yahweh.